I've always wanted to be known as a whore. Oh, yeah. I've always wanted to be known as a whore. Oh, yeah. I Hey, what's going on everybody? January Flowers here, your favorite homegirl. And yes, today's video is more so a tribute and basically why I like Tiffany Pollard. Yes, she is a fellow Capricorn and yes, I am a little bit under the weather, okay? Bear with me. I just wanted to give a shout out video to Tiffany Pollard. She is a reality TV diva and shout out to Hollywood Unlocked because they pieced together some, um, some of her more memorable clips. Although, you know, Tiffany has thousands upon thousands of clips, but I just wanted to say happy birthday, Tiffany. We're going to look over your clips and I'm going to just tell Tell you why um, I'm so connected to Tiffany and stuff like that. This is just lighthearted tea. So just to let you guys know, it's, it's nothing really, you know, deep. This is just a light video on a Saturday. Let's get into it. <laughs> gonna put in work of course she is she's gonna come she's, oh, Lord, i don't want to make no mistakes y'all i'm trying i want to be new i want to be different right. listen i ain't never did no like this before we have any i ain't got no problem with being like, they don't want me to be exactly who's they oh god listen i'm not trying to mess back okay? up that y'all are you okay no i'm not all right i never seen someone cry with the tears not coming out so i, I just want to make sure you're okay because it's an inner cry I'm gonna put in work, of course. You're a liar, you're not. You can't even speak up. She was coming at me all wrong. I'm fed up. You're, you're not gonna do HBIC. I don't care. You're questioning me. Nothing to me. Oh. What you say? You better choose your words wisely. Oh. What you say? You better choose your words wisely. All right, so we have the Hollywood Unlock Post. Happy 41st birthday to tiffany Pollard. here are some of her best moments happy birthday to the one and only tiffany okay so these are some of her best moments y'all get into it along with me here do you feel i'm not that excited to see you nor you shouldn't be because you're just another girl to slob my man down Ooh, you're mad yeah. you're a dreamer you dream a lot in your sleep. no not really I'm not yes sure. you do no I yes don't. you do i speak my mind like i said and i said tell it how everyone speaks their fucking mind where do you think they can no, tell you no. from their ass yo who we are Comes is just smack me right across the fucking face because this is just disrespectful. Get your ass in line and shut your mouth. You are, you're not gonna walk over there? Nope. You're not gonna walk over there? You're out of it. You look like a fairy princess that resides over the pits of hell. Come downstairs, just smack me right across the fucking face because. Should I give you yours? Yes, please. So as the date was nearing the end, we get back into our car, and that's when the date went from excellent to magic. I don't know how long he may be, but he's thick. He's gonna give you a mouthful. He will. <laughs> I feel like I might get lucky. What do you think, what Jonathan? This is like? Like? I don't know how long he may. Now that was funny. <laughs> That was funny because I'm like, how many of us have done that when you <laughs> you know you get ready to go out? <laughs> what do you think, what Jonathan? This is like? Do it! Slap me, bitch! <laughs> Her breath smelled like straight up shit. It smelled like a toilet full of nasty ass shit. Actually, I can stop this shit. Okay. I seen her Saturday. Last Saturday. She 
She's been like saying all this stuff to me. She's like, I'm gonna break your legs and all this stuff. Break a leg is is a is a is something that somebody says to wish you good luck. Break a leg. How about I break your leg? Break a leg. Guys. What did you say to me? I said break a leg. Guys. I don't want to break a leg. I'm gonna get the part. That's what I'm gonna do. Okay. What's really going on? What's just okay? Get out of here with that shit, New York. <laughs> New York. Fuck you. Fuck. Whatever. I don't give a fuck. I'm still in the motherfucking house. I'm still in the motherfucking house. I don't give a fuck. Do I look like I give a fuck? Because I don't. I'm pissed on his brain. How's that? And that's me being real. Fuck him. I don't care. I don't care. I know that one day that I will them stones out. You think I came over here to or have to borrow or get your shit? I don't need your fucking shoes. I don't need shit from you. You crazy bitch. I think Gemma is just a disgrace. She's a disgrace to humanity. She is a fat cunt and um, the shoes that she gave me were not something that I would particularly buy for myself. They were old maiden type of shoes. Yeah, Them shoes, my it. darling, have to be on someone's honey, feet. They're very honey, beautiful. This. And she said that those shoes were meant to be worn on a beautiful woman. So if that's the case, she should have put them back on the rack. And if oh, there's so shoes missing, your big feet of no Everybody, please welcome ah. New York. <laughs> So, of course, my love for Tiffany came from New York, of course. I mean, um, Flavor of Love, because that's the first time I saw Tiffany on there. And I loved her. Um, I don't really care about any one personality. Because it seems like all the girls had an issue with her not wanting to be around them. And maybe I shouldn't say all of them, but, like, the main cast of girls had an issue with her. Some girls that said they didn't have an issue with New York. But some did. And I just, I also love her um, drive to never give up. She's been in so many projects, done so many things. And her personality has stayed pretty much consistent. She has tried to clean it up throughout the years. But, um, you know, just growing up and seeing a personality. And she basically confirmed for me it's okay, you know, to rock your own way and be your own support system because that's what she was for herself often in the flavor of love house she was her own support she you know what i'm saying defended herself and her man and that was pretty much it everybody else was out the window and it was the first time i saw a personality like that who just didn't care because most people cared about pleasing everyone in the house and the person you're fighting for new york was never that type of person and she let it be known so I value honesty, and I think from the beginning, she was pretty much honest in who she was. She's from New York. Um, you know, she is who she is, and she got what she wanted. I remember um, hearing an interview of her saying that before she got on TV, she um, was, like, manifesting being on TV. And one night, she was praying to be on TV, and she said, a gust of wind flew through the window and like a week later someone was hitting her up about flavor of love so that's pretty cool pretty cool upcoming story but of course we're going to get into those comments and see what other people have to say about miss new york so zeus bad boys club said capricorn season prima donna said this thread is iconic i know that's right somebody else said ain't no way y'all convincing me she 41 somebody said that pumpkin scene still triggers me to this day Somebody else said, every time I saw her back in the day, I didn't get why we love to celebrate the celebrity, the reality star villain persona. She became 20 years later and watching the evolution of TV, reality TV, I got it. It also screen time and causing the best scene to keep them talking. She definitely fought for her claim and got the attention, fame, opportunity. She wanted even turn things into a career. I agree with Chanel. New York was definitely the girl to be hated on. And some people even back in the day used to always say, Jan, why are you team New York? Because a lot of people was team hoops. And then season two, a lot of people was team delicious. But I never changed. I was always going to ride with Miss New York. And um, I don't know. Like, yes, she was the villain. She was that girl who was going to cuss you out, gather you up. But it was something hilarious about it. I don't know. 
Somebody says she's the blueprint blueprint for all reality TV chicks nowadays, and they still ain't half of entertaining as she was. Happy B Day, iconic queen. That's true. It's something about her, yo, that was so entertaining. Like even when she went to argue with Delicious that one episode, she said, "And I did what I needed to be done." Now her energy is all messed up. I was like, "Oh my god!" Somebody said, "Does it look like I give an F?" Because I don't. <laughs> I just can't believe he did this. Yeah, that is funny. She's the perfect example of a real Capricorn. <laughs> you ain't never lied. She really is. Okay, for people who don't know Caps, she really is one like stay to themselves, quiet, don't mess with nobody. But it's like as soon as you get in their way or bother them, mm, good luck because that's all it is. That's all it is. Somebody said her weave has always been effed up. <laughs> That is true. Um, New York used to always get um, memes and stuff about that. Somebody says she is the reality TV, a uh, reality TV queen before Nene leaks. Somebody said you're clicking, but you're clicking down. Yes, I remember that. She said the moment was hilarious and the infamous meme when she was sitting on the bed fully dressed. Yes, I remember that. I remember that. Um, so let me tell y'all one of my favorite scenes from new york they did get a lot of good scenes what is one clip from new york i can watch every time and it make me bust out laughing um she's done so much i guess these are some some pretty good ones but y'all know she gonna be on college hill so her run isn't over she's gonna be on the um the new season of college hill too actually let's pop over to her page and see if she's saying anything Okay, we are on Tiffany's page, and of course, no story posts or nothing, of course. In perfect Capricorn style, you won't know about anything until later. But she, Let's did, go. she did make this post saying, I turned 41 today, y'all. He's blessed me to see another one. I'm truly grateful for life, health, and strength. Thank you for all the birthday wishes. Last night was epic. Movie, literally. That's cool. But you guys comment below, are you a fan of New York? Are you not? Either way, I have to say she definitely paved the way for a lot of reality women that we see today. And she's kind of the definition of just stay true to your personality and you'll succeed. You know what I'm saying? Like if the personality is fake, it wouldn't have lasted this long. And she literally came into the house with one mission in mind to win. So I'm, I can't knock that. You guys comment below. Let me know what you think. Stay locked to the channel and I will keep you up to date on all the latest tea. Do the best you can with what you got. Not, I want my eggs cracked, meaning I want a child. I want my name dropped, meaning I want to be married. I'm not around with you. I am not your bed maiden. I am not your maid. I am not your floozy. Or your you are going to have to give me something substantial because I know I'm worth that. I'm not all there. Sometimes I have my moment, but I know one thing. I'm good to you. I want I'll be the best I can with what I got. Oh.